Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guests, Jerry Drake and his front page band. And now, on with the show. <laughs> got to give a little, take a little, and let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You got to laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the two of us, we've got the world and all its charms. And when the world is through with us, we've got each other's arms. You've got to win a little, lose a little, and always have the blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. other's arms. You've got to win a little, lose a little, and always have the blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. Thank you. The Glory of Love, written by Billy Hill. And now here are two musicians in their glory at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> and at the piano, Mike Yanuzzi. Some movie memories now from the Paramount film Bell of the 90s, starring the one and only Mae West. And here's the song Mae West introduced in that film, written by Sam Coslow and Arthur Johnston. It's funny now and then how my thoughts go flashing back again to my old flame. My old flame. My new lovers all seem so tame. But I haven't met a gal so magnificent or elegant as my old flame. I've met so many who had fascinating ways, a fascinating gaze in their eyes. Some who took me up to the skies, but their attempts at love were only imitations of my old flame. I can't even think of her name, but I'll never be the same until I discover what became of my old flame.
I've met so many who have fascinating ways A fascinating gaze in their eyes Some who took me up to the skies But their attempts at love Were only imitations of my old flame I can't even think of her name But I'll never be the same until I discover what became of my old flame. <laughs> Sandy Randa, hey, Mike hey, Yanuzzi. Sandy Renda, I want to congratulate you on becoming a grandfather the second time around. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, it's really. Really delightful. What a what a darling, uh, darling little baby. A little uh, boy this time. A little boy this time, right? Your second grandchild, but second your first grand grandson. Correct. Uh, my first grandson, and and the uh, mother and father, my son and his uh, wife, uh, knew the gender. You know, going back a while, they do that today. So we knew it was going to be a boy a number of months before. Uh, but he's uh, he's darling. And what Beautiful is his name? Features. Well, don't his, say it. Don't go ahead. Don't his, say it. His name is Santo, also. <laughs> so now we have Santo, my son Santo, and now the baby Santo. And that's why when I was born, I got my nickname Sandy because there were three Santos in the same house, so it can be confusing. So I'm thinking of uh, down the road uh, naming him S3. <laughs> ah. Like the highway. Right. But now, who are the three Santos when you were a little boy? Your grandfather? My, my grandfather on the uh, ground floor. He had a grocery store, lemon ice stand, and so on. My cousin, who was older than me, on the second floor. And then I was on the third floor, my mom and dad. And um, the, the general Italian uh, 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 tradition is to name the first son after the paternal grandfather. grandfather. Right. So that's why... Uh, uh, my, myself and my cousin were both Santos, but now you have three of them in the house. Right. So it became a little confusing. That's why I got the Nick Sandy. Sandy, right. But in San my, my grandson's case, I think I'm going to call him S3. Very and nice. You know, S3 does not stand for US3. No. It stands for Spur. Oh. But I just found that out. So US3, when they used to call it uh, S3, stands for Spur 3. I did not know so that. So as long as my son and his uh, wife... Um, who, she, who she's doing very well, uh, thank God, and my son. As long as they don't mind, maybe I'll call him S3. Very nice. And you've met your grandson already, Oh, right? yeah, I've seen him, yeah. What yeah, is he, seven, seven pounds, you said? Seven, and he just gained nine yeah. ounces. Very the doctor good. Was, the doctor was very surprised. Very good. Right. And he was born a week ago tomorrow. Right, a week ago tomorrow. Well, congratulations thank again, you. Sandy. You, and talking about grandchildren, Mike, how was your granddaughter, Isabella? She, she is beautiful. She's uh, growing up and all over the place, and she's talking now and and you know i'm still waiting for the grandson part of it i'm oh hoping boy. that you know that's coming. you've got to catch up now <laughs> to, sandy. Catch up to sandy how old is isabella now isabella is a year and a half uh, two, i'm sorry uh two and a, two and a half very or good is my mind very good two and, a half. She's and sandy your granddaughter is going to be two right? oh what a doll julia yes, she is. yes okay. well, she's the older sister now she's the oldest sister isn't that she's, something she's getting involved in the um, uh, and her baby brother, Isn't that cute? and so on, which I think is very important. So yes. she feels she feels a, a part of it. And my son and uh, daughter Lord know just how to work that Ev work that out. That's at, uh, very nice. So uh, uh, thank God, uh, everything is really nice so far. Well, I'm very happy about it. Thank and talking you. about grandchildren, our producer director Jerry Schoenthal and his wife Carolyn are going to Indiana next week to visit their grandson Henry, who will be Henry. celebrating Big his Henry. second there birthday is. next week. Is. Yay! Let's Yay hear it for Henry. Henry. So congratulations <laughs> to all the grandchildren, and we go from grandchildren to grand music what is your big number for tonight this song is a um, a song we always did with the band years ago it's got a nice bouncy feel written by peggy lee and john pisano it's called so what's new so what's new let's hear it for sandy and mike <laughs>
As you know, we all love big band music here on the Steve Ames Show. And right now, here's one of the best big bands around, Cherry Drake and his front page band. <laughs>
Jolson sang many happy, optimistic songs with titles like I'm Just Sitting on Top of the World, There's a Rainbow Around My Shoulder, and this next one, Keep Smiling at Trouble, written by Jolson, Buddy De Silva, and Louis Gensler. Keep smiling at trouble, for trouble's a bubble, and bubbles will soon blow away. With never a sadness and nothing but gladness, we'd weary of life in a day. Be like the violets that doze neath the chill winter snows. They gladly wait for the May. So keep smiling at trouble, for trouble's a bubble, and bubbles will soon blow away. Keep smiling at trouble, for trouble's a bubble, and bubbles will soon go away. With never a sadness, and always gladness we'd weary of life in a day be like the violets that doze neath the chill winter snows they gladly wait for the may so keep smiling at trouble cause trouble's a bubble and bubbles will soon go away Tootsie, goodbye. Tootsie, don't cry. The choo choo train that takes me away from you. You don't know just how sad it makes me kiss me, Tootsie, and then do it over again. Just wait for the mail. I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you'll know I'm in jail. Tut tut tutsy, don't cry. Tut tut tutsy, goodbye. Kiss me, tutsy, and then do it over again. Just wait for the mail, I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you'll know I'm in jail. Tut tut tutsy, don't cry. Tut tut tutsy, goodbye. Good night. <laughs> 